Thank you very much, Secretary Claudio. Our leaders of the party, those who are on the head uh, platform and those of you who are all on the floor, welcome to the National Convention of Lacas Campi CMD. Our party is the dominant party of our generation. Our party has been the largest political party in the country for 15 of the last 17 years. Seventy-two percent of the country's elected leaders are part of us. Think of it, almost three out of every four elected leader is a party member. This overwhelming majority confirms that our party is the true party of the people. We were a coalition of Lakasi MD and Kampi. Now, this coalition is a full-fledged national political party. The Commission on Elections has upheld the validity of our merger. We have successfully hurdled the legal challenges thrown our way by those whose personal interests were prejudiced by the merger. It is now time to consolidate our ranks and fortify our party for the electoral battle ahead. <laughs> Let us transform Lacas Campi CMD from the party of the present to become the party of the future. <laughs> to that end, I am relinquishing today my position as national chairperson and handing over the reins of the party top leadership to the brilliant young standard bearer selected by our National Executive Committee, Gilbert Teodoro. <laughs> Our Constitution and bylaws reserve the power of nomination to the National Executive Committee acting as the National Electoral College. Nonetheless, though that executive committee could have sufficed to choose and nominate our standard bearer, our party leaders have decided to involve a wide membership of the party through this convention process represented by you, the National Council, today assembled here. I congratulate the executive committee for this far-sighted decision to share the selection process and make that process truly a process of the party leaders from all over the country. This is a far-sighted decision and it keeps the tradition of free, democratic, and transparent selection of candidates that our party holds sacred. Thus, we have convened today to nominate and then to proclaim the party's presidential and vice presidential candidates. Over and above the legal, legal qualifications imposed by law, what we want to do today is to nominate presidential and vice presidential candidates who possess the idealism the confidence, and even the youth to move our nation forward 
to win the fight against poverty and bring our country to the verge of first world within a generation. In the fight against poverty, in the quest to bring our nation to first world within a generation, to bring prosperity to the greatest number of our people, our party has initiated reforms, especially economic reforms, that were due in no small measure to the vision and determination of our party members in Congress and across the local governments. Our congressional leaders passed much needed reform legislation. Our local government leaders, using your fully released era and also your own earnings from an increasingly active business environment, our local leaders stayed on the course of reform, exercised firm political will, and on top of their own local initiatives, replicated the national programs in the countryside and in the urban centers. At a time when others, other parties, were succumbing to the temptation of settling for the populist line, our party sustained the reforms and emerged vindicated by an unprecedented 34 quarters of growth that the country enjoyed on our watch and further vindicated by the resilience that our economy has demonstrated in the face of the global financial crisis. Our sacrifices to achieve these results attest that indeed our party is the party that holds the nation's best interest at heart. The people deserve 